how to create a notion finance tracker hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own notion finance tracker so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty page and we're going to leave it at that and we're going to create another empty page all right and in it what i'll do is i'll click on forward slash and we'll just simply select gallery option there we go gallery view and we are now going to create a new data set and we're going to call this data set income sources there we go and now we are going to hide this data set hide the title and now we're just going to rename the gallery view to sources like so i just added spaces because i thought it would look cool uh, you can change it to whatever you want i'm just going to add the dollar sign over here or money or whatever we'll just add the dollar there we go next what we can do is we will go into the layouts and we'll just simply select the card view we're going to change the card view from preview to non and we're going to change the card size to small and there we go now we just fill it out with the sources like for example crypto and we will put other stuff here like youtube and maybe even stocks and bonds whatever just add your income sources right here and you are good to go now next what we're going to do is we're going to add another database and this is going to be a list or view list or whatever we'll just simply click on list view right so and we'll just simply click on new data set and we're going to call it uh, income tracker this is going to be our income tracker database all right and we're going to hide this database and we're going to name this income or actually yeah like so income and we're also going to add a sign or money or dollar or whatever cash machine there we go i think that looks good and now once that's done you can just leave it at that now what you want to do is you want to delete all of these different properties right that we have added right here because we are going to add them later so you don't have to worry about that do this for every single thing there we go it's all deleted nice so go ahead and close that up and then finally we're going to add a new database and this one is also going to be a gallery view and we're going to add a new database right here and we're going to call it bank accounts and we're going to go ahead and hide the title as well there we go and again just simply go into properties or layouts and just simply do the exact same thing that you did above and change their views like so and then fill it out with your own names of your own bank accounts as well like so okay after you've done that what you're going to do is you're going to go into income you're going to go into your income sources click on page one and what you're going to do is you're going to create a new template so after you've done everything now what you need to do is you need to go into income as you can see i've organized it a little bit changed the layout but you can do that as well now we are going to go into income sources and we're going to click on the first page and now we are going to create a template and over here we're just going to add an icon we're going to select the growth icon and we're going to name it income like so and then we are going to go back and now we are going to go ahead and create a property so the first property that we're going to add is going to be the number property right like so and we're going to call it amount and we're going to choose the number format and it's going to be in us dollars there we go and after that we are also going to add a date property like so and let's say we have like a hundred dollars in here and the date is let's say eight and then we're going to add another property and this one is going to be a relations property and it's going to relate back to the income sources right income source right here and then we are going to set show income sources right here and we're going to click on add relationship there we go and then now we are going to add another relationship and now this one is going to be related to bank accounts there we go we're going to click on show account show on bank accounts and click on add relation like so and now we are good to go bank accounts and click on add relation there we go and then you can just simply go ahead and select your sources so let's say we are crypto there you go and we just simply select our bank account all right so we're going to select paypal or wise we'll just go ahead and select wise there we go next what we're going to do is we're going to go into our income sources and we are going to add our own property but before that you have to delete 
the present property as well so we'll just go ahead and delete the tags property we're going to remain this one because this one is the one that we just created in the income sources so we're going to delete the other properties there we go now let's go ahead and add a property so the first property that we're going to add is going to be a roll-up property so relation should be income tracker and the property name should be amount and the calculate should be sum. so basically this is just i'm going to go ahead and sum up the or relations this is basically going to sum up your amount and after that you are good to go you can go with the progress bar it depends on you or ring as well you know it's going to show you a progress bar like so but yeah and over here you can go ahead and divide it by let's say 500 then you can see our number is not yet there yet so yeah so now we have 100 out of 500 so this is also going to show you your goal and your progress as well so we can leave it at that next what we can do is we can go over here into our income tracker and click on filters all right and we want to show our properties right over here as you can see we want to show the income source and the amount like so as you can see crypto is going to be 100 so the same thing for the other ones as well so you can do this as well now what we want to do is you want to change the view of income sources so the first view is going to be right here i'll duplicate it let me actually delete this so the first filter is going to be for today right we're going to go ahead and change the date is and we're going to select today this is going to add our today's you know filter and then we want to add another one you know which is also going to be so you don't actually need to change the view or anything i mean this one looks perfect if you change the view it just complicates things next what we're going to do is we're going to go into sources right here as you can see we're also going to click on properties for our sources we're going to click on properties are shown we want to add the income tracker and the roll-up property if you want to show up the income tracker you can but it depends on you but let's say that you know this is our income tracker right this is our income source this is our income tracker and down is the roller property if you don't it just looks like this it just looks really beautiful in my opinion and pretty simple this is how you can create a finance tracker guys so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and if you guys want to view a expenses and if you're wondering about the expense tracker, well, it's pretty simple. You just duplicate these sources, right? So, and then go into the pages, right? And just change up some of the filters. I mean, we actually didn't use any of these sources, but you just simply change the sources, all right? Like, for example, if you have your sources right here, this is going to be your income sources, right? You just simply change the name of sources to actually expenses. And then you just simply open up the page. And over here, as you can see, you just change it to you just add whatever your expenses was. And over here, you add a relation to why it is being deducted and you are good to go after that. You don't need to add a lot of stuff you just duplicate them and just change up the sources and you have an expenses tracker so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye